Bucks Fizz first came to the public's attention back in 1981 when they won the 1981 Eurovision Song Contest back in 1981 with Making Your Mind Up in 1981. A string of top 20 hits followed. After that, a brief period in the wilderness, but they're back. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for the return of Bucks Fizz. Welcome to Rock Profile. Uh, do you want to introduce yourself to everyone back home? Hi, I'm Mike Nolan. I'm Bobby Gears, if you don't know. <laughs> yeah. OK, right, so um, well, let's start at the beginning, shall we? Eurovision. Yeah, we won it. We were the best there, that's what they said. Why? What are you trying to say? Are you Are challenging their decision? They have judges from all around Europe, so they should know. Yeah, but we've kind of put Eurovision behind us anyway. Oh, yeah. I mean, pretty tragic if we're still going on about it 20 years later. I mean, I can hardly remember anything about it at all, except that Ireland gave us 11 points, Spain 10 points, Germany 11 points, Portugal 11 points. And Portugal Sweet... was 12 points. No, 11 points. <laughs> that was definitely 12 points. Thank, Thank you, Margarita. Margarita. And, and here, here are the scores of the Portuguese, Portuguese judges. judges. Switzerland, Switzerland, one point. The Swiss... Um, point. The Netherlands, two points. Le Pays Bas, deux points. Belgium, three points. Le Belgique, trois points. And the people of Portugal award 12 points to the United Kingdom. Le Royaume-Uni, douze points. And that concludes the voting for the Portuguese judges. Goodbye. Great. Malta, are no, you there? Stop. Okay, let's move on from Eurovision. Shall yes, we? please. If you wouldn't mind. In the mid uh, '80s, the lineup of Bucks Fizz changed, didn't it? Just getting back to Eurovision for one moment. And when people meet us, they often ask how the making your mind up dance came about. Oh, how did the um, making your mind up dance? Come oh about? God, people always ask us that. Boring. Okay. Uh, now your follow-up single. Well, seeing as you asked, the tearing off of the skirts was a completely spontaneous act. You know what it's like, Jamie. You're walking down the street, you see an attractive-looking girl, and you rush up to her and rip off a skirt. Mm, not really. That's what the fizz is all about: spontaneity, danger, attitude. Don't forget, we just had punk. Mm. Uh, Cheryl Baker and uh, Jay Asson, how did they feel about it when you ripped the skirts off? Oh, they probably loved it. For the next single, we did actually want to take the routine a bit further and rip off the girls' knickers. But Jay Aston said no. More of her later. Hmm. Do I detect a little bit of resentment towards Jay Aston there? Let me tell you a little bit about Jay Aston. Jay Aston. Jay Aston. Miss Jay Aston. Jay Aston. When we first met Jay Aston, she was going nowhere. She was at Cambridge University studying to be a barrister or something. We took Jay Aston to the top with the fizz and then she quit. Jay Aston. Miss Jay Aston. Jay Aston quit the fizz just as we were poised for global domination. Jay Aston. Jay Aston ruined my life. Jay Aston ruined my life. Word of advice, Jamie, don't form a band with Jay Aston. OK, uh, thanks for that. You honestly believe that if Jay hadn't left Bucks Fizz, you would have been huge? Well, let me ask you this. What do these bands have in common? U2, R.E.M., Oasis, Radiohead, The Rolling Stones. Oof. Think. Um, they're all really successful. Yes, and why? Well, I suppose... That's it's... right, Jay Aston never left any of those bands. Round of applause for Jay Aston. Witch. Got your uh, broomstick, eh? Your witch. Yeah, your witch with your witch's cat. Yeah, and your spells, your magic spells. Yeah, and your, and your witch's gun. They don't have guns, they just do spells. Mm. We've talked a little about um, Jay Aston. Oh, that's right, bring up Jay Aston. Let me tell you a little bit about Jay Aston. Ha <laughs> uh ha, -huh, Jay Aston. Well, I'd like to move away from uh, Jay Aston, if we may, and, and talk about your other bandmate, Cheryl Baker. I'm not before time. Let me tell you a little bit about Jay Aston. Jay Aston, ladies and gentlemen. No, I'd like to talk about Cheryl Baker. Ah, oh, Cheryl Baker, yeah. You know, I'm so proud of Cheryl when I see her presenting record breakers or eggs and baker or filling in for someone on GMTV. I mean, let's not forget, Cheryl stayed a little bit longer than Jay Aston. Jay Aston. Jay Aston left us high and dry. We were talking about Cheryl Baker. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Cheryl Baker. You know, I wonder how much money she earns from all those shows she does on TV. I should imagine it's anything up to, say, eight to ten thousand pounds a year. Whatever, she's a very rich lady. 
I can't help thinking she's traded off the fizz. If I was her, I'd be sitting at home thinking, it's all thanks to those guys from the fizz that I am where I am today. It's only fair that I should share my income with them. It's very simple. She could set up a direct debit and pay 60%, 50%, I don't know, say 80% of her earnings straight to me, us. Or if she prefers, she could send a chair. I think that's fair, don't you, Jamie? Hmm. Uh, let's talk a bit more about the music. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about Jay Aston. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> the Jay Aston. No, the music. Uh, what songs are you most proud of? Oh, well, apart from the hits, Mind Up, Make Believe, Heat, etc, etc, etc. I'm actually very proud of some of our album tracks. Yeah, we always saw ourselves as more of an album's band, you know, like Led Zeppelin. Hmm. I'm particularly keen on the title track of the third album, Digital Watch Out. Oh, I don't remember that one. Yeah, you do, Digital Watch Out. Where's it go, then? You better watch out, better yeah, scream, better, better shout for the digital, digital watch, digital watch out. A big, big hand, hand, little hand, hand time is ticking for the digital watch, digital watch out. No, it doesn't ring any bells. Pop music now is bigger than ever, and it has been said that uh, if Buck's Fizz had gone on... The you're our friend, Jamie, please call us The Fizz. You're in The Fizz Club now. Lifetime member. Great. Thank you. Um, I suppose the fizz sound is big at the moment with boy-girl bands like um, S Club 7, uh, Scooch, Steps. What do you think of those bands? Steps? Jamie, I love them. They wear the fizz crown and it fits. Of course, they owe a lot of their success to the fizz. Mm, possibly more to ABBA, but... Uh, yeah, another band who ripped us off. Carry on. If I was in Steps, I'd be sitting at home thinking, it's all thanks to the guys from the Fizz that we are where we are today. It's only fair that I share the money with them. Again, let us just say it's very simple. They could go down to their local bank or building society and set up a standing order. They could even do it over the phone. Hmm. Just getting back to ABBA, though, just, just for one moment. Let me tell you a little bit about Jay Aston. The famous Jay Aston. No, let's talk about ABBA. Um, there is an ABBA revival going on at the moment, possibly on the back of the Mamma Mia musical. Any plans for Bucks, the, the, the Fizz to do, to do a musical? Yeah, we've got it all worked out. The actors come on stage, sing Mind Up, then talk for an hour, interval, maybe nip to the loo, get a chalk ice. Then they come back out for Act Two, sing Make Believe, bit more talking, then finish with a grand finale, a medley of Mind Up and Make Believe. Mind Up, Make, make believe, believe, Mind Up, Make, make believe, believe, Mind Up. I believe you've been working on some new material. Yeah, we've got a whole new album ready to go. All we've got to do is write and record it. Oh. And find some girls who don't mind us ripping off their clothes. The great thing is, Jamie, that you are now very much a part of the Fizz Network. I know we can count on you to get us on Top of the Pops, the Ozone, Get Fresh, wow. Question of Pop. Thank you, Jamie. It's very kind of you. What a nice guy. Ever thought of going blonde, Jamie? I'd do it for you. No, I... I think it would suit you. What a nice guy. Yeah, I like him. I like Jamie Thixton very much. It's just great to know he's a big fan of the Fizz and is going to do everything he can to put the Fizz back at the top where they belong. It certainly is, Bobby G. Yeah, well, obviously, I, um, I, I can't promise anything, but um, I believe there's a Bucks Fizz tribute band out there. That's right, they're called F*** Fizz. To be honest, Jamie, they're taking the mickey a bit. What do you mean? Well, we've seen in Mug of Friend Jamie Thieks, and it's these, these, these two camp guys. A bit <laughs> puffy, you know. <laughs> with these silly blonde wigs, and they got these two fat, ugly girls with them. They got that bit right. Let me tell you a little bit about Jay Aston. And that's why, if I ever saw her again, I'd have no option but to strangle her. OK, well, thanks again, Mike and Bobby. Bobby and Mike. Yeah, whatever. Jamie Thixton, we're pretty good friends. I think I can say this. You've done really well for yourself, haven't you? Great career, earned lots of money. Own TV and video, I imagine. Yeah. Well, let's face it, you got to where you are today because of the fears. If I was you, I'd be thinking what I should do is sign over all my assets to the fears. I don't want to be labelled a thief. OK, thanks again, guys. Oh, before you go, uh, can I just say... Uh, uh, which camera? Which camera? This camera. Uh, uh, Jay Aston, uh, if you're watching at home, hi, it's Bobby G here. Uh, haven't heard from you for ages. We'd love to get in touch with you. Yeah, hi, Jay Aston. Uh, why don't you give us a call? We'd love to get back together, you dirty witch. Right, thanks very much, fellas. We'll be off. <coughs> oh, abandoning us. Jumping ship just while we're getting somewhere again. No, gotta go. We've got another interview to do. Well, what about your promises? The Ozone Special. Liar. Thank you, Jamie Thiexton. Good luck, Jamie Thiexton. Bye. Let me tell you a little bit about Jamie Thiexton. Mr. Jamie Thiexton.